friends, Miss Art Garden here, and today I have a little bit of a challenge video. I've been thinking about trying out some, like, we'll say cheaper <laughs> programs uh, other than Photoshop lately, just to see what kind of artwork I can get out of them. I was also somewhat challenged by Video James NZ to do a drawing in MS Paint, but I have a Mac, so I don't have MS Paint. I just Googled free online art programs, and uh, <laughs> that's what I got. So I've already tried this sketch pad and I can't <laughs> figure it out. It creates like a new layer every mark you do. I might be doing something wrong. I couldn't figure it out. I tried for like 15 minutes. <laughs> it was a failure. So I'm trying to find one online. So I'm going to try this Klecky. I got to rearrange my window. <laughs> Wasn't quite big enough. Yeah, I'm going to try this Klecky program now and we'll see what we can do. So first thing I want to know is if there's layers. It says layer one here. That's promising. That zooms it in and zooms it out. Huh. If I brush, there's no history and no command Z. Okay, surely there must be some kind of undo. Maybe it's this? Okay, we figured out the undo. I found the layers. I'm gonna make another layer so I can have my very <laughs> pixelated thing. It looks like every time you undo this, I'm hitting command Z, which for Mac is the undo and it doesn't work. So every time you make a mistake, it looks like I'm gonna have to go up there and try that out. But uh, that's okay, we'll figure this out. <laughs> okay, well, let's try something anyways. So let's make our size a little bit smaller. See how this this goes. I don't know why it looks so pixelated. It's so weird. But we're going to start by like sketching out a color. I mean a, a sketch. <laughs> and yeah, go from there. So I chose way, way down to just one. Yeah. And it looks like if I hit brush and eraser, so is is my better option for the undo. So that's eraser. Here's my brush. I'm hitting B and E actually. And then I go to my eraser and I can erase it. So I think I'm gonna rely on that instead of undo. Yeah, this will be like a drawing traditionally. There's no computer to just wipe out all your mistakes mistakes in a second. It should be interesting. So I'll just draw something pretty simple, a face, and we'll go from there. I am really bad <laughs> at not hitting that command Z key. I like messed up my line and I was like, I'll just fix it. Uh, that's okay. We're making progress already. Look at this. We have half a face guide done. I should have turned my opacity down a little bit so that my new lines worked better than my like guidelines, <laughs> but it's too late now. So what I think I'm going to do before I continue is just make my brush a little darker so that the new lines will show up a little bit more. I'm just going to keep drawing, draw some eyes in. Give it my very generic looking anime face. Okay, and then we'll draw this down, fix this, it needs to come out. Right now she doesn't have much of a chin, it needs to be drawn out. I could use a little bit of a transform tool right now, but that's okay. We can get this to work. Give her some proper eyes to, oh. I see why it was so <laughs> pixelated, because <laughs> I had it so blown up. Uh, I would love a way to transform it. Resize, that's not what I want. Transform, here we go. Let's see what this... Can't figure out the transform. I think I'm gonna start over. <laughs> so I'm just gonna delete this. It won't let me delete it. Oh, now I've got it clicked on something and I can't click it off. All right, technical difficulties, be right back. Okay, so I did figure out how to transform the image. You just have to, I was on the wrong layer. For some reason I had created another layer. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but uh, you go to that layer and then you go to edit and then you just have to do it sort of blindly like this, uh, but it looks like junk still. So I am gonna start over and I'll, I'll meet you back when I'm back at that place. <laughs> Okay, I think this is about where I was at with the last one. This is a little bit messier than that one. You like lose control the more you zoom out and draw. But I'm um, working on her. I think it's fine. <laughs> I'll just keep going. I think I'm gonna fix up her nose. It turned out a little bit weird. There's like little things <laughs> that you do with Photoshop that you can't do with this. And one of them would be like her face is slightly skewed down this way. So I'd like to change it, but I don't. I'd have to erase everything. So we're gonna leave it. <laughs> This is a artwork of, I don't know, chance. <laughs> how it turns out the first time is just gonna be how it is. So I've got the sketch down. Uh, let's just give a really simple hair, something like that. I'm gonna see if I can transform this and actually frame it up better. So if she has her head going out a little bit, it's not so weird when her shoulders end compositionally. <laughs> So yeah, you can transform a little bit. That's pretty neat. I think that's one of the most handy tools of digital art is having that ability to like micro edit your work. And then she'll have some kind of 
just call her so she's not naked looking. <laughs> I said naked really weird. Uh, it's okay, I don't think you can say that word on YouTube anyways. Yeah, so we'll have some kind of bang. Okay, so we have our girl. <laughs> for better or worse. Um, I might slim up this jaw just a touch and then I'm gonna erase this line because I like my um, stuff like broken. My line's broken at the, <laughs> the neck area. This ear's a little too high up. I guess I'll erase it and redo it. And her eyes are a little bit wonky but I think we're gonna leave them. I mean how, how bad are they? <laughs> I wonder if you can flip the image. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay maybe I did it wrong. Let me undo that. Flip the whole canvas horizontally. Okay, so you could flip it and then see all the little mistakes you made. <laughs> And that's a handy tool too for digital artists. You know, if you wanted this to look a little better, you might refine it. We're gonna go with <laughs> stuttering because I'm so unsure how to fix this eye. And then I'll uh, I'll call it good. So this eye I think should go out a little bit more. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it. I'm not gonna like sit here and, and, and obsess too much <laughs> over my mistakes. That's an important part of just getting your art done, I think. Especially if you work like commercially, you'll never be as good as you want it to be and you'll have deadlines. So, okay, then we can flip it uh, horizontally again. Yeah, that's a nifty little trick. So let's give her some kind of earring or something so her ear is not so bland <laughs> looking. And uh, let's work on refining her lips a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so let's make a new layer and I'm going to ink it. <laughs> Let's make my size a little bigger. What does this size look like? Yeah. Uh, it's a sneeze, sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Inking it might be a little bit tough. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll get it going, even if it's not perfect. The inability to hit Command Z is this program's like weakest, I would say weakest point. Let me zoom way in and see if I can't do something here to... <laughs> I think a better person with better tablet could. But you can see if I do it, it comes off squiggly. So I'm just going to do the messy line. I'll clean it up a little bit, but it's not going to be very well inked, you know? So I'll meet you back after I've done something here to, uh, to act as inking. <laughs> All right, so it would definitely take a very skilled person <laughs> with a tablet to ink this and uh, I'm gonna show it to you without the sketch. Uh, not the cleanest. If you went in with a bigger brush, it would help you, less sketchiness. Um, and you could use that to your advantage too, if you wanted to. I think without that Command Z, it's like very debilitating uh, <laughs> to try to come on here and ink it um, and have to either erase it every time or go up there and hit that button manually. I'd say this program is actually really good except for the undo which is so important when you're drawing. So yeah if you wanted to maybe make it look a little cleaner you could go in with thicker lines. If you were doing this with a mouse I don't know how you could get it to work. I could come and think on this if I could, if I had to use this program if I had nothing else. I would probably come and think on how I could make it work. One thing you could do to your advantage is use hatch lines which might you know, like traditional lines. You could put those in some places and they might sort of lend to this sketchy style. You could play around with certain things like that. I never did her ear. Let me just get that in. Like, why not? <laughs> I don't know. I would have to think on it. Oops. <laughs> it's a little hard to control. It reads pretty good as far as like if you have a tablet. I could try some time with a mouse <laughs> and see how well it reads. But besides that, I'm just gonna, since I marked some lines thick and others not thick, I'm gonna put some thickness in here so it doesn't look weird. It just looks like I have line variation, you know? Theoretically, the ones that are most shadowed should be thick, but we're just kind of going with a different style here. Might as well bulk up the old lashes here. Maybe the details of the face could be a little bit more and then like the eyebrows look weird now. <laughs> I don't know, I butchered that one. Okay, so you get the idea. You would have to work out a way, your line art isn't gonna look clean, so you're gonna have to work out a way that that is advantageous. I'm gonna make a new layer and put it under this one and I'm gonna try, I didn't mean to make another layer. Wait, hold on. Uh, there we go. This layer, this is the uh, line layer. So you have to be careful that you don't color on the wrong layer. But let's just go ahead and see if we can't color her in a bit. We'll give her a base color. We'll see about some shading. We'll see where that comes from there. So I like this brush 
this default brush for the the main brush it's pretty good it's like photoshop's hard brush with just a tiny bit of airbrushing uh style to it <laughs> i wonder if i can change the background let me see i don't want to lose this color let me color her all her face in and then i'm going to change the background something a little bit darker it is starting to make my fan come on on my computer so this program is going to probably draw a little bit of um processing <laughs> we go to layers we go to this background one uh we have brush what does this do i think these are special brushes i'll check those out edit can we fill <laughs> um let's try hue saturation doesn't look like we can do anything there let's try invert yeah i don't really want it to be black though <laughs> what if we invert it and then try hue saturation and no okay uh how about brightness and contrast so we can make it a gray <laughs> We'll make it a gray for now, that's fine. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to, like a fill tool kind of thing, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go back to our, our brush, I mean our color layer. Uh, we'll give her, I guess, blonde hair? <laughs> I don't know. The color picker isn't bad. Oh, I keep <laughs> I keep doing all my Photoshop shortcuts. Let me just fill it in. Okay, I just discovered that the option is the same in Photoshop where you can pick a color. That's pretty neat, actually. That's really cool. That's like one, the first advanced sort of shortcut I've seen, which makes me believe that this program have might have some more shortcuts. If you worked with it a little bit more, you could learn from it. There's no nothing that came up about like learn all the shortcuts, learn all the tools, or anything so I think it'd just be a little bit of trial and error I bet you anything there's videos on how to use it on YouTube somewhere but yeah that I thought that was pretty neat this program has a lot of potential I think if they could do the command Z and maybe there's a shortcut for that but I just don't know like I'm hitting Z now <laughs> I don't want to mess too much with it and then risk losing my drawing <laughs> so um, I'm not going to but uh, there might be something you could do and that would really bump this up this program up like right now it's maybe like a 6 out of 10. <laughs> uh, Photoshop being maybe like a 9 out of 10. <laughs> yeah but with that it would be uh, pretty cool I think. So let me see. The last thing I need to do is some whites for her eyes but of course we don't want total whites. We want semi-whites. Yeah we'll get that in and then this um, ability to pick up the color is really helpful when you're coloring in these things and you want to like pick up the color and use it to sort of erase in a way the color that you just did. Yeah so we have a bit of a base color here. I think that's in good enough. Let us now make a new layer. Let's see if we can keep going with these layers <laughs> and see what we could do. Actually on this layer I want to add some, we'll just give her blue eyes the same as her shirt and then uh, do black with less opacity. I guess that opacity doesn't really make a difference. It's okay. Give her some pupils and then we'll go to this new layer. I wish you could label your layers and I wish, oops, you could lock them. Two things uh, <laughs> that I wish for. Okay, so let me see here. Let's try, I'm gonna try these out real quick. This is, uh, I guess that's an airbrush. You can kind of set up um, some blending with it. So if you blend 92, it looks like that. Let's see what happens if you take the blending all the way down. I don't know it's a difference. <laughs> Maybe there's something to it. What does this one do? Okay, so this is an interesting brush. I wish I had known about this earlier. I should have tested this out. Look at that. It creates some interesting texture. Okay, let me make another layer. <laughs> I'm gonna be layer crazy here. And I'm actually gonna go over with this brush and just see what it looks like. Like that's kind of cool. I like the weird texture that it has. I don't know what what that's about. It's like I think it's trying to mimic some kind of like charcoal or something. Uh huh. I mean I don't know if it's I'm crazy about it with this this drawing that I've already had. But if I start it over, it might be kind of interesting. You could do like a digital painting. Maybe I'll try a digital painting with this program next <laughs> follow up video. Uh yeah, but it's actually kind of cool. I'll leave it in for the sake of just leaving it in, even though I don't. <laughs> I think it looks the best with what I've already drawn. Yeah, it's kind of a cool texture. Okay, I don't want to overdo it. Oops. So I'm going to go back to, I think this was going to be my shading. Uh, we're going to go back to the normal brush and I'm going to pick, let me see if this is my color for my shading. I'll want it down here. Can we, the opacity doesn't seem to change. So if I change it to like eight opacity, maybe it does a little bit. Okay, we'll, we'll change it down and I'm just going to go in and give her some shading. So around the eyes, under the nose, and I can still use that eraser while I'm here. I can't seem to get the eraser to be smoother, if that makes sense. So it just, it just sort of cuts it off really hard edge, but that's okay. I don't know if I'm crazy about this shading color, but we're going to go with it now. <laughs> 
There's no going back. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a nice soft brush when you change the opacity. I think you're actually changing the softness more than anything. Uh, there's something about that there. Let's do a little bit under here and then we'll kind of reshape it. Yeah, I'm not crazy that that looks so close to her hair. <laughs> Uh, mistakes were made. That's okay though. Let's um, see if I can go in. There was an option since this is the first one I've done. Let's go to edit. Let me see if I can change this now. Okay, so you can mess with the contrast. Isn't gonna do much to the brightness. Let me see what that turns out like. Okay, but let's try hue saturation. Can I change it just a little bit redder? Let's try this. Yeah, that works better. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Uh oh, something's gone wrong. Okay, can I not uh, access my brush anymore? Oh, I just wasn't ha didn't have it selected. We're all good. Okay, so let's pick a color for her hair and we'll shade it here like this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the messy look because it's sort of been decided for me. And that's okay. Didn't ever do her earring. I'll have to go in and do that. Okay, I wonder if we go in with like a little bit lighter. I'd like to have somewhat of a blended look, but uh, I don't know. We'll come back to that another time. We could add some highlights to her, her hair. Let's, uh, hum. All right, so that, that does that. <laughs> Let's just do it with the brush. Um, oops. Yeah, that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying things out. I don't know what the limit for the history is, but it seems to be pretty good. You just add like a little highlight. This is like um, the kind of sketching you do with markers almost. It looks a little bit like a weird marker drawing. The eyes and stuff are a little messed up, but I kind of wish I had worked more on the sketch. I was like, we'll just blow this out. I think it would have been kind of nice. Can I do a shadow? Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a little careful of a shadow. So here and here and then over here. It's going to look a little weird. And then I'm going to go in with the blue where this area is. Maybe a darker blue. Her eyes are not quite matched up. Why won't this pick this? Okay. And then we'll turn the opacity up. That's a little too big. Okay. And let's do one more layer where I'll just add a couple little touch up things on her face. So I wish there was a multiply um, option. <laughs> But depending that there isn't, we'll go in with a big brush, really big brush. And I'm going to add a little blush. Oh, too much. <laughs> so she has a little blush now. Give a little touch on her nose. Hopefully it won't take that shading away too much. Uh, let's give her a little color to her lips too. That's uh, too small. It's still too small. <laughs> Make it a little bigger. Still too small? Okay, that'll work. Let's just smear it on. <laughs> this is how I do it in Photoshop too. And then take the eraser and then shape it in. Her lips are wonky. That's okay. It's okay. I guess you could go in and edit um, this. Uh, can I erase this? Not letting me. Is that the wrong one? Yes, it is. And then we'll go to brush and re-add the line. It's still not the best. I think this is the layer with the highlights. So we'll add a little bit of highlight to her lip. I don't know. It is what it is. As far as the program works, I think you would want to play around and see what artwork you could do. You'd have to change up your style. Like, let's mess with the background a little bit. Let's just try and see what these do. Yeah, that's kind of nifty. Let's turn our opacity way down. Let's get kind of a bluish turn our brush way up. So how far does it go? <laughs> Not very far for this. I'll add like a little halo effect. I don't know about like line art with this program, but yeah, overall I would say this program's not actually that bad. It's much better than that first one I tried. That was like, um, I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> uh sketch.io or something it wasn't great <laughs> uh anyways for making illustrations maybe not the best but you know you you can make this it's something it's not too bad i might try this with a digital painting if you want to see that video let me know in the comment section below okay everyone real quick and i'm about to end the video but i wanted to insert something if i'd only clicked here look at this it has all the shortcuts how amazing is that so there's, it is control Z and stuff. And I was like, oh, I guess it doesn't work. But I just tried it on a Mac. There's command, which is usually what you do for your commands. But there is also a control key, which you like never use unless you're using it in tandem with the command. And it does actually work. So I take it back. I just bump this program up. <laughs> now that I know that, I think this would have been a lot easier. But you know, you live, you learn. So no big deal. And also just because I wanted, if people want to know, you can save it. I, you click this save and then it says to right click 
or press and hold on the image and I did right click it and if anyone is curious to know it saves it as a .png. You can make art on this and even if you don't have a tablet I think you could do something with your mouse. I used to have to draw with my mouse. You could probably figure something out. So yeah I'm changing my clucky rating. What did I originally have it as? Six out of ten. <laughs> I'm gonna change it to a solid seven out of ten. I think it's a pretty good program. Uh, maybe it doesn't work perfectly like processing or anything. I don't know about that stuff but as far as my experience with it I would give it a seven out of ten. So I'm now gonna switch ahead to pass me ending the video. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you do anything with this program, it's called, let me just put it down here. It's called Klecki.com, K-L-E-K-I.com. Yeah, if you do something with it, I'd like to see the artwork just to see what you do. Maybe sometime I'll try like more better, not just like try it out, but like actually try to make a nice artwork in it. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.